part of our jobs, all of us out there, involves doing things that we don't like to do or doing things that we're not so comfortable doing. Today's video is one of those things that I don't really like to do and I'm not so comfortable doing at the same time. However, it is critical, it is important, and if I do not tell you or if you don't hear about it, then you may turn around and blame me for why you're not prepared or why you're not ready. Today, we are discussing the new cybersecurity protocol that's coming down in 2020 that the government, the DOD is gonna start requiring on some contracts. Yeah, I know, cybersecurity, right? We've all heard about cybersecurity. We've heard about uh, bots and people meddling in our elections and things like that. But the reason why I have to tell you this information is because, like I said, this is 2020 is around the corner. I mean, as the time of this recording, uh, we are only a few weeks away from the new year. So if I don't tell you about this new requirement, this DFARS requirement, and hopefully you've already heard about it somewhere, you may not know exactly what it is or what it means, but I'm sure somewhere along the lines, if you're registered in SAM, somebody sent you an email or a message and told you you have to get ready. The reason why I've held off on as, as long as I have is because one, the government set this ruling out uh, at the beginning, uh, somewhere around 2017. And until now, they still haven't figured out what they want to do. So there's been different ways in, in which, which the government has classified how they want to start doing cyber and they haven't come to a unified agreement. I have personally been to offices of some of my fellow uh, podcast guests and associates who have implemented these new cyber protocol and some of these new procedures. But for the most part, I would imagine it's been a challenge, specifically uh, for small businesses, mom and pop businesses, uh, businesses with uh, no employees. So I know the challenge that this presents to all of us out there. And like I said, please don't turn me off just yet. Give me a chance. I promise you we're gonna to get to the good part of this soon because I had the privilege to speak with someone who does cybersecurity, they do the certifications for contractors in this space. His podcast episode is going to be released coming up in January. I may push it, uh, make it sooner just because of the importance of it. Nevertheless, uh, Jonathan Hart, I had the privilege of speaking with him recently on my show, GovCon Giants Podcast, about cybersecurity requirements. And trust me, Folks, I'm thinking about you. I'm thinking about myself. I want to do things that do not impact us uh, severely. So again, whether uh, it's impacting us monetarily, or it's impacting us with time, or it's impacting us our our company uh, in some other way that may be harmful. So you, as you will see and hear in this upcoming uh, clip that I take. I have specifically said, look, what can we do for small businesses because they don't have $25,000 to give no one. So you're going to hear what Jonathan response is um, right what now. Do you, tell what you steps do you advise people to start doing now, if any? Oh, and and let, me, so, let, me, let, me, let me qualify that. You, you know, one of the things that I've always said to people, and again, and, I, and most of my audience are small businesses, right? They're not, they're not, right. they can't afford $25,000. Um, you know, one of the things I said is, Again, no one wants to be the leader, right, and spend this money, make a commitment, and then the government decides to change the policy later, which we know right. happens. Right. So that's, that is, for, for us, that's our fear, right, is you go out there, you make the commitment, you invest, and like you and I just discussed, if I invested uh, in CMC 0.3, and now by the time January comes around at 1.0, and then the, the contract language is not going to start talking to September, um, how how right. much money have I spent already? So, <laughs> Go ahead. Right. So this is my advice. So don't worry about CMC. It's not even the law yet. What is the law is that 7012 clause or that 7012 ruling. What that there's three requirements to that. One, you have to have adequate security. Two, you have to report to the to the DibNet within um, 72 hours of a compromise or an incident. Three. You have to flow that clause down if you're prime to all your subcontractors. The adequate security requirement is NIST 800 171. 
So go ahead, download the NIST AR-171, all the 110 security controls, and start implementing those. CMMC is going to take those into consideration. They're taking those into their they're taking those into their uh, level one through five process. And if you implement all of those cybersecurity requirements in the NIST AR-171, you're going to be roughly a level three at CMMC. So it's not money that you're wasting. And it is law right now that you have to implement that, the, the, those security standards. So you might, there might be a little percentage of a change from a left to a right to be officially a level three, but you'll be sitting pretty good if you take those NIST AR-171 controls and, and go ahead and holistically implement those in your IT infrastructure of your company. I like that. Some now you said the 7012 right. policy. What's that one? Yeah, yeah. Is that so NIST? Is that's, that... the, that's, the, that's the DFAR. That's, that's the Defense Federal okay. Acquisition, yeah. Acquisition Department Supplement 252.204. Okay, I got you. You're using the last four. All right, yeah. yep. I was just right. using the last four because it's a mouthful to say. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. I got it. The defaults clause. Okay. Yep. I'm familiar with that one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. No, I just we and, it, I, and again for me, if I'm confused, maybe someone listening might be as well. All right. So the defaults clause. That's the one where okay, adequate security report uh, any type of uh, breach within a certain right. time frame, and then the flow down right. clause. And, and anyway, here's here, here, here's my offer that I give to everybody. If you want to know more, email me, call me, go to our website, type, you know, email info. Dude, we'll, we'll explain all this for free. No charge. All of this for free. We, we are all about spreading knowledge because the more people that know about this, the, the, the more prepared they can, that they can get their company, right? And we'll, right. Even, we'll even say, listen, you don't have to use us. There's this company. This, I'll name competitors. Because it doesn't matter to me whether we get your business. I would love to have your business. What matters to me is that your network is secure so that you can continue to do business with the government so that we can protect our fellow warfighters downrange. So whenever our weapons are firing, they actually fire. When we push our, our, our buttons to make missiles go, go off, they don't just fall out of the sky. It's just important. So I'm not – if you want information, feel free. Hit me up. I'll – gladly give you information i'll even give you competitors names where you can go and say well you know h2o you're a little too little too pricey i'm going to go with joe over here but here's what i won't give you i will not give you a shitty cybersecurity company that won't do you right i'll make sure we vet even our competitors i will give you good cybersecurity companies that i know that if you use you'll be doing just as well if you used us no. Now, by no way, shape, or form am I uh, endorsing Jonathan. I just want to share the information and put it out there because he has already done this for hundreds of businesses, and you hear the full clip in our podcast when it's released. But he's he seems to be the leader in actually helping certify companies and businesses and getting prepared for the new upcoming requirements. So again, I've already, uh, if you haven't got his information, I'll make sure I'll leave it in the notes page. You can reach out to him for free, as he said, to talk about what you need to do or how you can start getting prepared to meet these new upcoming requirements. I don't want anyone to get caught with their pants down and be surprised when their opportunity is taken away because they're not prepared. Again, with we're going to have more information and insight as we get closer to the dates. But at the same time, I did want to prepare everyone and let people know the ones who are interested in learning, who are interested in getting the information that they need so that they're ready and not caught, like I said before, uh, with your pants taking out. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that this video helps some people. Like I said, for me, uh, this is a not so fun subject and it's not something that I'm particularly an expert in, but just like the rest of you out there, I'm going to have to get uh, myself prepared and get the companies that I represent prepared as well for these new rules and regulations. Again, as they come down the pipe, I'll be letting everyone know. Thank you so much, as always, for tuning in.